reverse your fucking car. We're trying to fucking do what? That's how far you are. Oh yeah. See, I never know how. Never know how high I am. I'm always thinking I'm gonna scrape the roof rack. Just one at a time. Hi, everyone. Just loading up the car here. Putting the fly box in here. We're uh, about to head out to the Beaver for a location scout with um, John and Matt from Infinity Fish. We're doing like a, a nice shore lunch this weekend, and right now we're just gonna figure out where we're gonna shoot this damn thing. So uh, load them up and come and enjoy us. Enjoy, <laughs> enjoy us for the ride. Enjoy us for the enjoy ride. Us for the ride. Join us for the ride. Oh, enjoy. <laughs> Hundred feet down, uh, <laughs> where only Ninja Turtles exist. Uh, Yelma, a new parking spot, buddy. Yeah, new parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I park. Jesus Christ! <laughs> so far down. Yep. Just your regular everyday price here. Oh, Adis, you're here too. I guess so. I was just going home, and then I ran into you. It was weird. That is weird. Yeah. Well, let's go fishing, I guess. I guess. I don't know. What's Yelma doing? Oh yeah? Lame. Waiting for John and Matt at the old McDonald's. He almost got his outdoor pants on. Yep. The old gas station up in Caledon. Ah. Up in Caledon. Brought both my outdoor pants. Holy smokes. Do you bring your waiters? Oh shit. Yeah, I'm proud of his waiters. I brought my waiters. What do you think I am? We're doing chicken burritos. Nice. Chicken souvlaki. Nice. Veggie burritos. Nice. We're gonna get some guac and salsa. We have like a lot more beers now. Oh good. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a great weekend. Look at the stuff we have. <laughs> just, we've accumulated so much stuff over the years. Oh, I just put the beers in. Is yeah. it your Yeti full? Uh, it's full of like cooking supplies, yeah. Oh, Sorry. It's dumb. Tucker's filled with rods. Nice to meet you, Matt. Oh, you guys haven't, you haven't met yet? Oh, first time. Yeah, first time. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh my god. I'm this guy now, so yeah. just get used to it. Yeah. You ever see that, uh, that episode of uh, Reno 911? <laughs> No. <laughs> the guy buys like white ostrich boots, that's how I feel. Anyways. Yeah. Ooh, Ty Loop's hat. Nice. <laughs> and he's got the Japanese. Oh yeah, I waited shirt. like six months for this shirt. And this is an extra large. Extra large. Damn. Yeah, Japanese extra large. And now we're going to my favorite Scottish restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what a nice surprise! Aww. Oh my god, Mitch, I thought you uh, Mitchie, I thought you were working, Mitchie. <sighs> Boys? Supposed to be working. I did the COVID test. Did a COVID test. Whoa! Get super angry. Just get very, very angry. Bye. See you. Oh, yo, wait. So where are we going? Just follow me. Okay. A little longer than a few minutes later. John, what are we doing right now? Oh, we're putting some waiters on. You know. Why? We're gonna uh, we're gonna go harass some fish, some wild brook trout. <laughs> We're gonna go for rest. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you getting on there? So, you know, it is my first time on, on the beaver, so I don't know what to expect, but I'm just gonna put on my classic uh, streamer that I use, I big, big yellow one that I use on the credit, yeah. seeing as how the credit and the beaver are very similar, and we'll see. Yeah, what are you thinking? What, what do we got going on here? Are oh, you so doing I... a dry dropper? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, for everybody at home, the beaver is not one of those Ontario rivers. <laughs> you can it. fish tandem. I don't like casting fly line, it's not fun. Just snagging for me. <laughs> <laughs> Ontario, get lit. Where's the river? Uh <laughs> <laughs> the direction where we're not going. That's exactly what I did, I pointed to the other I was like, wow. Yeah, Danny the Dan, Danny the log. Yeah, and uh, we just got here, so it's beautiful. <laughs> Are you narrating the new fly fisher? <laughs> <you know? laughs> I think all is going to take us down and show us the spot that he's thinking, and then and then maybe we can fish, right? Well, yeah, we got yeah. we. I don't know where these rods came from, but we'll we'll fish.
from an art direction standpoint, what do you look for when you're scouting a location? Uh, Cole's notes. I just think the background has to just be beautiful. And, and, and even though this is nice and open and it's right by the water, like the furry things here, like the gray stuff is probably not really good. I think the greener, the better. So maybe your, your, um, your gut for that might be nice. Uh, like, I don't know, if we cross here, we can take a look at that from the other side, but there might be some clearings there that'll be like really wind covered and you'll still be able to see the river from. I'm not sure what it's gonna look like from the other side though. There's also upstream from the bridge. Yeah. Where it is a little bit more like covered, but it's way more dog walky. <laughs> It's, 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 a, it's a common misconception, environmentally and socially conscious as possible. Cool. Um, so yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Something about that is really nice. Yep. The ground's super uneven, but we And right, no, no, it's not uneven. This is, it might not be windy at all. This is exactly what I was thinking, yeah. but again, you'd have to cross, or just walk, literally walk in, like. Yeah, walk oh, you mean on the other side, side here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's really nice, actually. Really nice, like it's because then you can hit the you can see the river yeah, and yeah, how yeah, it yeah, kind of yeah, narrows. Yeah. It's it could be really pretty, yeah. So then maybe we should go back to the bridge and then see how gnarly it is to get up here. On that side. Yeah, I mean, it's really not that bad, like that, yeah, would be clear. especially yeah. if we cross on that side. Yeah. If we had to all hand bomb it just Matt and I, it would be a pain, but yeah, we've got six people, right? So we can, and Aedis is huge. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Shoes off or? Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having us. Good to see you again. Yes. Hey, Elma. Hey. What are you doing? Starting a little grill. A little Gonna make grill. some chicken souvlaki. Brought to you by Bush Light. Oh. That's oh. for you. Thank you very much. Cheers, 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 Mitch! To world peace! Yeah. Get your drink. Yeah. 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 Class scale master, straight at the camera. Um, okay, no, that's too nice. It moved. <laughs> and the acidity of the marinade also starts to cook the outside and you get this kind of white, um, slightly cooked ceviche-like film which is not always the most beautiful thing. Yeah. So if you blanch the outside quickly, you set this white surface and then you, when the marinade starts to cook it, you don't notice the kind of uh, curing effect. Yeah, yeah. Um, because you already have kind of a, a cooked outside that's consistent. Yeah, right, right, right. Like He Man. <laughs> <laughs> I have the power! <laughs> Completely fell off. Just that song. Blank. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> you want Oh, no, you gotta go way further back. Don't you have a swing before? No. We didn't have swings growing up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that spool of backing. <laughs> wow, no, okay, no, is it? That's it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, I feel like backing on a hero rod is it's irrelevant. Anyways. It's yeah. completely but irrelevant. If he gets a steelhead today, <laughs> then. Into the back. Yeah, he, you know, we might really <laughs> realize that it's uh, something. <laughs> well, it's all it takes. Looks good. Looks good to me. Well, it looks good to me. Well, I guess we're going. Oh, look how look cute at this that. is! And so, bag. wow, you know. Bags. Once it's hammered in, slide the foot down. Feet come out. Put this 
down here, get your second key, you can just do that. Oh. And then your fire. Yes. Oh my god, that's it. A really deep fire pit. Yeah. This rod might only be halfway up because the other half will be in the ground. Oh, I see. Or if you're doing it like in the beach and you're really deep into sand. Right. So this might not actually be this tall. It might only be to here with the extender. Right. Yeah. We swear all the time. <laughs> and then I guess this stuff just... <laughs> yeah, it's really well balanced. Is it, is it kind of all meant to... Oh yeah, maybe it's all. To be honest, guys, it does not feel like I have anything metal inside here. It, it is yeah, actually really? quite comfortable, yeah. Okay. Well, there's room. You can put other stuff in there. Actually, it's really comfortable. It's not bad at all. It's like hugging my back. Yeah. I feel wow. like I could just cook. <laughs> organizing um, our podcast session here at Tom and Lisa's. Tom and Lisa hosted us for the weekend and uh, on the Beaver and it was great and now we're just getting ready to do our final uh, podcast for this um, trip. Final? It's the last know. one, Mitch. Oh my god. No! Uh, maybe you can't well, well, what I meant to say is our final, you know, part of the trip and we're going to end it right. off with a uh, our podcast so yeah let's go thanks tom and lisa again is that okay yeah great. yeah it was pretty good hi matt hi hi john hey, hey. hey mitch <laughs>